Now let's perform it on a live engine starting process. As you can see, I have the device in my right hand. In the left side of my hand, I have the connector with the clamps on top. First step is connect the connector to the cor uh, correct terminal of the jump starter. That is easily because the ports has only two shapes. You can do nothing wrong. So, as you can see now, it's flashing. It's flashing um, green, 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 uh, orange, green, orange. That means I'm ready to get a jump start. This says your device. Check the LEDs. All four LEDs are on. That's nice. Now, connect the red clamp to the positive terminal and the black clamp to the negative terminal of the car. So, where these terminals are? On top of your battery. On the right side, as you can see, this is the negative part. It's a minus pole. And on the left side, there is a plus. And this is the plus pole we have to connect the red clamp. After this, we're going to the minus pole, the black pole, and connect the other, the different, the black wire on this by using the clamp. Easy. Now let's have a look where we have to store the device because our engine will start. So it's a little bit shaky. So you have to support it there because of the fast moving parts inside your engine room, of course. Now sit down and start the engine of your car. As you can see, the energy is on. Now we have energy again. Thank you, um, jump starter. Let's go. Ignition on, yes, um, gear neutral, go to the front of the car hood, remove the jumper connector from the jumper starter, after this remove the battery clamps and let the engine run a little bit because of um, the um, alternator is getting a little bit more power into your 12 volt car battery. Let it rest there for five minutes and then go back on the street. So easy it is. Now I will show you again what's happening. If you did not start the engine twice, um, that means your battery inside your car is so deep, deep under loaded, no power is more there. Then you have to push a button on the connector about two seconds and then it is LED green. That means more power is going into your battery. And if you're using this option, your battery will or your car will start easily. But do this only if the battery is really empty. This is important. Don't use this all the time. And make a cool down time about 20 seconds between every start. Okay. Now let's have a look how we can load an. Apple iPhone, for example, that means Android smartphones you can load too. On the dip in the USB port, you can use both of the ports. One is faster than the other. And then only push the button on top. And as you can see, the battery of your device, Apple device, Samsung device, all of them is loading easily. So that it is how to start your engine with a jump starter. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe me and give me a positive feedback and see you next time. Soon soon.